certain points of a rational function g of x are displayed in the table below. Uh, which of the statements is true about g of x? Well, let's see what we have. We have x values that go up by very small increments. And as the x values go, and it looks like this is pretty consistent, they go up by 0.1 every single time. Okay. This goes up by 0.2 every single time. Every single time, except for right there where it's undefined. Now, what that tells me is you have some type of graph that it goes up 2 over 1. So you have some type of graph that goes up 2 over 1, and then all of a sudden it blanks out at 4. Now, if something is undefined, you're looking at two options. Option number 1 is a vertical asymptote, and option number 2 is a hole. Now, with vertical asymptotes, this is what you're going to see. You have two options for vertical asymptotes. As things get closer to that magic number, these y values, in our case, g of x values, are going to explode and then all of a sudden just reappear down there at the bottom. Or if your multiplicity is 2, your numbers are going to explode and then explode and then level out. That's not what we have here. We don't have a picture like that. What we have is a picture where uh, if it's a whole, things seem pretty consistent until all of a sudden it's undefined and then it keeps going. And that's what we have. This says very consistent, it's very linear until all of a sudden it's undefined, which tells me at four you have a whole. Okay, so not a vertical asymptote, not a horizontal asymptote, uh, yes, a whole and not a zero. If it was a zero, this would say zero. But again, what vertical asymptotes are going to do is this number is going to be regular and then a little bit bigger and then a little bit bigger, then huge. And usually when they give you graphs where it gets huge, they'll say stuff like, you know, uh, 3.9 is like 100 and then 3.99 is like 1,000 and then 3.999 is like 10,000 and then all of a sudden 4 is undefined. So that's usually the vertical asymptote type problem. We didn't have that at all. This is a whole type problem. Uh, where did I need my calculator? I didn't. Once again, this is one of those problems where you don't need a calculator even though it's in the calculator section. Okay? Hope this helps.